Hey everybody, this is Walter Resendez with Access Electric. And in the last episode of Basic Motor Control, we went over a pump panel schematic and showed you exactly how it worked. Today, I wanted to actually show you a pump panel itself. We wanted to, I wanted to show you the pump panel with the schematic and go through each of the components, explaining them, how they're wired, how that wiring works in the real life, as well as in the schematic, so you can get an overall picture of exactly how that wiring looks in the field. So we're gonna show you that. You could always check out our other video on how that schematic actually works, how the electricity works. If you're still having a hard time visualizing a static uh, schematic. So check that out. Let's get right into the video. So what I have here is a schematic of this pump panel. These are all the devices inside the pump panel. You have your breaker, your starter, the starter with the coil, the overload, uh, ultimately feeding the motor. You have your push buttons, your transformer, and uh, the terminal blocks. So everything that's in this starter panel that we're gonna show you today is represented here on this drawing, including the ultimately the motor that it's feeding. So I just wanted to go real quick, go through how this is wired up. So first of all, we have our in-feed to the breaker. This is our line voltage. In this particular case, it's a brown, orange, yellow that is feeding the main breaker of this pump panel. And then from the breaker, the breaker has three contacts. This is a three pole 480 volt breaker with three normally open contacts. And when the breaker is closed, those contacts close. And when the breaker is turned off, those contacts are open. So here we'll, we're showing our breaker closed. And then that closed breaker is then feeding uh, through the three black wires is coming down to our starter, feeding the top side of our starter. Our starter then is connected to our overload, which is mounted to the bottom of the starter, and then ultimately feeds our motor. Off the top of the starter, there is a tap. On line one and on line two, there is a tap, and two black wires are tapped to those lines, and they're feeding two fuses that are mounted the, to the top of our control transformer. And I'll show that here on our diagram. There, again, you'll see the tap on line one and line two, which are coming down and are feeding our fuses. And then those fuses feed our transformer. Now that transformer is converting 480 volts single phase to 120 volts single phase. And we're gonna use that 120 volts to control power to our coil uh, or any field devices that we have, but ultimately that control power is feeding our coil. And so from the transformer, we come and we feed our fuse. And we also come from the transformer with our neutral. That neutral will come and it'll feed our overload contact. That is feeding the overload on terminal 96. And that is a normally closed contact. And uh, and then we also are showing our ground because our neutral is bonded at the transformer to the case of the pump panel. Now it needs to be bonded with the ground because a transformer is a separately derived system. We're deriving a new voltage. So we must bond the neutral once again uh, after that neutral has been created. So we're showing our bond and then from 95 on the overload we're going the wire is going underneath the starter and coming up and feeding the coil one side of our motor starter coil then from our fuse we're feeding the uh our selector switch our hand off auto selector switch on this drawing we're showing it in the hand mode uh, so you can see the hand mode is closed the auto mode, which is below, is open. When you flip the switch to the middle, both contacts are open. When you switch the switch all the way to the right, only the bottom switch is closed. So from the fuse, 
actually before from the fuse we're feeding our, our selector switch and the selector switch on the on the hot side of the selector switch we're feeding both both contacts through a little jumper and then our selector switch feeds one side of our start button and that start button is going to terminal block number three it is the black wire coming from our start button over the terminal block number three then at terminal block number three we see a red wire that's jumpered there and that jumper is coming up to the other side of our coil finishing our 120 volt loop but this would only work if we were to push the button and hold the button okay so one other thing we need we have a little jumper from our coil over to one side of our normally open contactor all right and then we need a holding contact so that after we push the start button it can remain the our coil our contact can remain closed so our holding is a ye the yellow wire is going from the the supply side to our start button it's going from that wire it's going over and feeding the other side of our normally open contact on our coil on our contactor and finally we have another wire coming from it's coming from the auto side of our switch and it is feeding terminal block number four in our pump panel and now typically what you'll do here let me see if I can draw this typically what you'll do here is you'll feed some kind of a field device uh, usually it could be it could be a float it could be a timer anything like that so um, let's see if I can make this work we're going to draw let's get a pen tool and let's come in here and we'll see if we can draw so we would in the field we would come from number four we would attach a wire to number four and we would go out to the field let's just draw a little loop here we go out to the field and we would connect it to say a float switch so imagine this is a float switch uh, and close on rise float switch and here's our float when the water rises the float closes this would close and we attach another wire we come back we jump right over there to number three when that float closes then our pump would run so if you like this video hit the like button if you want to subscribe to our channel please subscribe hit the bell icon if you want to get notified and we'll see you in the next video